Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. And now, let us bow our heads in a moment of silent prayer. Bannister's the one with the morning band on his arm. I wonder what he meant about seeing him right after the funeral, or else it might be too late. We'll soon know. been shot. Shot. Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner-publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity, known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. the proofs is something wrong doesn't make sense you mean the why i mean the how 20 people witnessed a shooting including the district attorney and not one of them heard a shot or saw a gun flash phone it's scanlon is the scrambler on yes yes frank i have to see you Britt. something just came up on the banister case good i've got the coroner's report here the slug they took out of the victim is 17 caliber. 17? I never heard of such a gun. Nobody has them until now. How soon can you see me? Make it a half hour. I'll be there. Mike, Mr. Reed's busy. This is important. There's a dame on the phone, young Bannister's girlfriend. She says she knows who killed him. She's afraid she's next and wants to get out of town. She's on the phone now? Right now. For 2,000 bucks, she'll tell us her story. Transfer the call from Mr. Axford's line. Make the deal. Hello, Miss Cameron. You've got a deal. Meet me here at the office. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, make it 11 tonight. Uh, we put the paper to bed at 10.30, then everyone leaves. I'll be here. With the dough. Go down to the cashier and draw 2,000. Now, this is more like it. Just like the old days when I lived in the same building with you and your father. Your pa, rest his soul, was running this. I remember once we paid 5000 to an axe murderer. Oh, okay, Mike. Th I'll, get, I'll get him out.
Yes, Frank? Ballistics has come up with something more on that gun. During World War II, the OSS had a silent and flashless gun invented for use behind enemy lines. That this must be one of them. Well, that was my first reaction. But I checked further and learned that the OSS guns were all 22 caliber and they're all accounted for. But there's one thing that ties in tight. James Bannister, Dave's father, was a retired gunsmith. I've got something that ties in even tighter. Dave Bannister's girlfriend is ready to talk. Hello? Yes, Miss Case. What? When? I see. Thanks. That gun's been used again. What? A messenger for a brokerage house carrying $5,000 in negotiables. He was killed in a crowded elevator, and not one of the passengers heard a shot or saw a flash. Well, then the banister killing was just the beginning. They can have this whole city at their mercy. We better find that gun and destroy it fast. Let's hope there's only one gun we're after. Yeah. Cato, get the Black Beauty ready to roll. Thousand good ones. Mm -hmm. Talk now, pay later. What? The Green Hornet? What are you thinking? Take it easy, miss. We won't hurt you. All right. There's four thousand dollars in there. For what? That's twice as much as your deal with the Daily Sentinel. Who killed Dave Bannister? How'd you know about that? I know about a lot of things. Why do you want to know who killed Dave? I want the gun. It's that simple. Who has it? I'm telling you would be putting it in worse hands than it's in now. <laughs> Come on now. If you were clean, you'd go to the police, not the Daily Sentinel. That money means my life. I've got to get you away. Tell me who has the gun and your life is guaranteed. By me. You'll do that? I will. You have my word. And this. Well? Joe Renner. He killed Dave. You know him? He works for Al Trump. A cheap hood. With his fixed fights and his rowing crap games. Why was Bannister mixed up with him? It was my fault. I insisted we have $2,000 in the bank before we were married. We were both working. We were putting away a little money each week. Oh, but it was too little and too slow for Dave. So he tried to make it grow with sevens and elevens. Lost all your savings and then tried to get it back. How did the gun get into it? Dave told Trump about how his father had invented it. He offered it to him in exchange for his IOUs. Then Dave stole the gun from his father? When Mr. Bannister found out about it, he was going to tell the police. 
So Trump had him run down by a car. First Dave thought it was an accident. And then he was killed to keep him from going to the police. Where do I find Renner? Lives in the Argyle Arms on 10th Street. Apartment 609. knows about the gun. If they've got it, Carly will have this town in his hip pocket. All right, you guys, hold it right where you are. Well, oh, that's the Green Hornet. And they've killed Runner. Hell, Trump? All right, I'll get your hands up. I never thought I'd blow the whistle on anyone, but... Uh... Owen, call the fuzz and tell him Al Trump just got the Green Hornet. I assume you didn't see Carly's two hoods leaving as you came in. Carly's boys? Did they get Joe? Yes, Al. They did. Did they also get the gun? Gun? What gun? I've got no time for games, Trump. Okay. Okay! What do you want to know? Was the gun here? Did Carly's boys get it? I got it stashed. I want it. <laughs> so do a lot of people. Including Carly. And he's gonna kill until he gets it. Carly doesn't scare me. He didn't scare Benny Roberts. Dead. Or Legs Carson. Dead. Or Smiley Benson. Dead. Is that enough of a list for you, Trump? Or would you like more? What do you expect me to do? Give him the gun? That would be the easiest and the safest. Or you could do it my way. Which is? Let me negotiate with Carly for you. Yeah, but I got plans. So did Legs and okay, Benny. Okay, okay. Do we have a deal? What's your cut? Half. That's highway robbery. Another highway might lead right to the cemetery, Trump. We got a deal. Move 4,000 units this weekend. I said 4,000. I meant 4,000. Close the window, I feel a draft. Already did, Chief. Doesn't feel it to me. What is all this? No more tricks, Carly. I'm here to talk business. What do you want with me? I have something you might want. For example? A gun that fires accurate and fatal bullets without gun flash or sound. 
What makes you think I might want it? Should I ask them why they killed Renner, or should I just ask you? Well, I'm a reasonable man, Hornet, but I'm not a fool. I know Al Trump's got that gun. And I've got Trump right in my pocket. Me? If you want a deal, deal with me. For something I haven't even seen? For all I know, that gun may be nothing but a rumor. Is a rumor worth killing for? Getting it for nothing is one thing, Hornet. But to pay for it? I'm still a businessman. Suppose I set up a demonstration. Just the three of us. Trump, you and me. Open an above board. And I'm to trust you. I'm willing to trust you. I kill Hornet. I don't lie. That's something I have to find out. True. Then I'll hear from you. You'll hear from me. <sighs> what happened? With bodyguards like you, a man doesn't need enemies. Give me Al Trump. <laughs> Now listen to me, Trump. I want to do business, but not with the Green Hornet. He'll move us both out. But I've got a way to get around that. Shut up and listen to me. We've set up the demonstration in one of your layouts. Only the target is going to be the Green Hornet. You're still going to go through with it? I've got no choice. It's the only way we can bring the gun out in the open where we can get our hands on it. You're walking into a trap. You better let me help. Thanks, Frank, but... The Green Hornet started this. He'll finish it. Hey, uh, Hornet. You haven't got any surprises planned for us, have you? No. Why? Have you?
doors. Yeah. You can't get out. You and I have been on a collision course for years. Two brilliant men. There's room for only one. True. Sad, but true. I wish I didn't have to use this. Fine, Cato. You timed it just right. Call Scanlon. Tell him it's time to pick up these two. One grease, one parboil. <laughs> 